just checking some stuff real quick and putting my phone in do not disturb mode since I've already gotten called twice today by uh, no numbers. Alright. Who's ready to see Slime Rancher 2? Let's begin. Okay, she's save icon. So slave save slot icon. So I just want to say that there's a couple new slime types because of just the icons. Well, I know there's new slime types. Huh. Um, I know there's new slime types because um, you can't not know that there's new slime types really. Like, it's advertised pretty much everywhere on Slime Rancher 2 anything that there's new slime types. So, tutorials. You probably don't need tutorials, but just in case there's something new. Tar. Okay. Oh, they spoil food now? I didn't realize that. I thought they just ate it. In one. Modifies damage received by a player from all sources. <laughs> so, what are the settings for it? Half and... Oh, there's a second one? Yeah. It, like, just dropped, um, two days ago, I want to say. Let's check the store page real quick. Literally two days ago, September 22nd. Technically, it's early access right now, but... If it's as good as one was already, it's going in the right direction. But there's some things that might be buggy or whatever. But, honestly, I'm good. Story. After a long day of slime ranching, Beatrix LeBeau was enjoying a cool glass of carrot juice as she watched the sun set across the slime sea. Suddenly, a boat arrived at her dock with nothing inside but mysterious light. Technically streaming right now, but also watching you, I wonder if that will cause issues. Well, we'll see. I don't think it does, technically. You have explored the far, far range, from the dusty shores of the dry reef to the furthest reaches of the perilous glass desert. But there are worlds yet uncharted, Beatrix LeBow. Rainbow Island awaits you. Climb aboard if you're ready for a new adventure. We have a little rainbow pencil. Yep, that definitely looks rainbowy. Maybe there's a volcano? Beatrix excitedly boarded the boat, that, and it took her across the slime sea. Eventually, she... She, yeah, she saw a island unlike anything on the far, far range. Mountains, trees, grasses, all an array of colors that dance and move like a dream. One second. Need to... Apparently I need to turn down a couple settings because my fan kicked up. As she explored, she found the abandoned conservatory. Overlooking the rest of the island, Curio curiously, is equipped with everything a slime rancher like her would need to ever need to wrangle slimes, start a farm, and build gadgets. So a new adventure begins. Beatrix tightened her boots and ready to her backpack, set out to explore Rainbow Island and uncover its mysteries. So I'm figuring... I'll probably just do... Okay, yeah, let's go in here and... Yeah, the volum volumetric fog is something that definitely causes issues. Honestly, just those two should help. I'm figuring we'll do a single stream worth of Slime Rancher 2, and then put it on the back burner until um, it fully drops. Okay. So... We've got pink, we've got glow, we've got rock, we've got blue, we've got tabby. 
We've got lava, we've got... Ice, maybe? Or maybe that's ice? Maybe that's crystal? I'm not sure. Fire, um... And golem. wonder... Is uranium slime not in existence anymore, or is it like a... I'm not sure. Ooh, we have a downstair. Ooh, okay. Back stuff. There's four inventory compartments right now. Wait, we already have... Oh! Let's start with the chickadee. Pink florp. Sometimes he then make port head ports head over to the port market to cash in your ports. Just on the lookout for any. Okay, so it looks like it uses the same energy system as the first one. Where you can sprint and some other stuff, but we'll probably be able to get a jetpack and some other things. Sup as you, how you doing? Sandy gas escape. Can I go up? No. Apparently not. <gasps> chicken. Hen hen. Ch hearty chicken bread to be twice as tasty as its cousin on Earth. Struts like his stuff like he's king of the coop. Okay, so. The, it has that system still of. Oh, wait. Uh, uh... Nope. Just a little bit. So let's just go ahead and collect the chickens in safety for right now. Um, it looks like it has the same kind of unlock system as the first one did, where some of the regions are unlocked preemptively, some of them need metrovania style upgrades to get to, while others just need, like, money to get to. Which honestly, I feel like is the perfect way of doing a farming sim. Because, like, if it's just money, then you just gotta farm for it. Whereas if you actually have to explore for, like, certain bits and pieces of gear to unlock a region then that forces people to do more than just farming so I like a good balance between them okay is pink plorps worth much right now 12 but they're equal so sure of course can't you make no you have to combine two slime types to Get the, um... What's this? Refinery! Oh, we can make... Ew! So we can refine things. Gear making thing. And it actually requires you to collect items in the world. Buzz, hydrate. Alright, alright! I see you trying to drown me. <laughs> Perhaps I should put a limit on that. <laughs> My what? That sounds about right. <laughs> Trying to waterboard me live on Twitch. <clears throat> Ooh, cotton boiler. Mm, okay. Well, now it's your fault that some water went down the wrong pipe. <coughs> mm. Oh, warp tech decorations and utilities. Okay, I'm going to refund like half of those because. I'm not sure the exact uh, liquid volume I guess I would need to forge count as hydrate. <coughs> but. 
That's a bit much. Let's see. Uh, we'll have... Yeah. Those will be complete, and then I will reject these ones. Because <coughs> it should give a refund. If I remember how this works correctly, yes. And then you can save your points for other things, like drowning me later. Okay. Because sometimes I'm not 100% sure if it actually works as it says it does on Twitch. Because, you know, why would Twitch be accurate? Oh. <clears throat> First now I'm going to have to deal with probably hiccups in a little bit. Okay, it wants me to shoot the slimes into the pen. So there's little cave bits? Deemed give a cat a treat. Let's see, is Lucky or Sebastian going to be nearby? Well, apparently neither cat is in my room right now, so that will have to wait. Because I don't know where either of them are right now. Actually, they're probably both downstairs, probably antagonizing each other. Okay, so the purple crystal leads back out. Other blue crystal? Goes to... This cliffside that's next to the dock, right? Yes. Is there another path? I think there is another path. Antagonizing each other? It's a boost fault. Okay, to be fair, I've literally seen Lucky hop up walk right next to Sebastian, who was asleep at the time, or faking that he was asleep, and then bat at him. So it's not always. Oh, upgrades needed to harvest this. Okay. Got slime crystal. Need to reserve it, though. He was asleep! Okay, so, and then tutorial stuff. Everything has a cost. That looks like a gun. Do we get turrets? Is there a turret the uh, tower defense function now? Okay. We should keep that as a like farm area. Shoot the slimes. I will. Just gotta don't need it, burn it. I'm fond of okay. Just gotta make a place for them to not escape from. So high walls, music, air net, solar shield, floor collector. Oh, okay, there's all the previous upgrades. Undertrade my clay doll. Oh, what did you get? Is it worth it? The great horde. Sleep until morning, sleep until night, sleep for six hours. Okay, that's nice that it has multiple functionalities than just sleep until morning or night. I mean, heck no, it's a... Oh, what you get? What type of garbage did you get? Wimpod. Oof! They do be unfortunate. 
Just them offline. I guess this must be the way that we have to go through. Rainbow field, shifting colors like a dream, fading just as quickly. Lots of carrots. I'm figuring I'll just grab the pink slimes in case I find some food stuff. Water? I'm afraid there's needed to harvest this. Oh. Oh! Hot. Ooh, tabby. So there's like pots that I can break now? I wonder if there's like a respawn mechanic or if it'll only be whatever spawns in the first time like the other, like in the first game. Oh, did not mean to do that. Is that is true, I guess I can always just yeet some slimes off a cliff. Uh, mmm, uh, mmm, you know what, sure. We'll come back for those fruit eventually. Okay. Actually, wait. Well, no. I don't want Yabby to run free because... Um, I want to actually keep the tabby. Because if I can make some lark... Ooh! Cotton slime. Diet veggie. Hop, skip, and jump. Oh, it's gone. Of course, it's already becoming night, so I should be careful and head towards home again. Largos. So what I'm thinking is I want to grab... Ooh, I could make some Largo Tabby uh, cotton tails. Okay, we should get back out of here. I don't know where home is. Um, oh wait, there is. <laughs> okay, Largo Glow Slime. I'm leave. Good luck with the stream. All right. Thank you for tuning in for a little bit. As you see you next time. Because we don't have money. Okay. Wait. Um. So which fort right now is worth it? Okay. Cotton and Tabby are worth the same. I'm gonna stick a Tabby over in this corner. I'm going to give. These slimes a bunch of carrots. So actually, what I'm figuring is if I can, I might be able to just make, um, might be able to just give some bunny tabby largo's carrots and it will make a um it'll do double output because i figure the bunny is probably going to have a favorite food of carrots in my non-expert intuition I'll just do this. I'm sorry, Hen Hen. While Pan Sage appears. Isn't that the water? Um. Water monkey type thing. Okay, so wait, how much money do I need? I need 250. Is that 
beam of light over there? Can't tell because it has... Since... It looks like how each area is generate or generated, yeah, is it only generates about one area out. Pan sage, grass, pins, poor water. Ah, that's like I'm pretty sure. Of course, wait. Why am I? I have a bunch of carrots, so let's do this thing quickly. Though I just heard a chicken. Ah, eat it, eat it. Follow your, follow your instincts, and eat. Kill, murder, violence. First, isn't there a, like, journal button slime PD? Um, yeah, because pink slimes don't have any favorite. Oh, the cotton slime does not actually have a favorite as carrot. And yeah. Where did the chicken just go? Okay, there it is. Murder, violence, kill, kill. Eat the baby. First and actually, let's take the carrot. Let's take the carrot. Unless is it actually is there oh gadget mode? Okay. Just pressing random buttons, seeing what happens. Oh. Wait, was that previously appearing? What button was that that I pressed that sh is now showing the Oh. Ooh, it has an actual map! That's actually very nice. Oh, dang. This game has the potential to be mass... I guess not really massive, but... Lots of different are oh, areas. Okay, let's see. If I drop... A couple of these, and then drop a couple of these... Come on, bunnies. Give me them ports. Because I guess really what I should do is I should go out night and just go port hunting. So I got Tabby from that first um, crate I wanted to bring it back home quick. Since I knew it would be worth some decent value. Okay, I just need like two more. But I should go veggie and floor hunting at night when there's going to be a bunch of Largos about. Okay, I think you can force feed them. You just got to do it so they're looking at you at the time. Okay. I know this is probably going to go badly, but... Look at me. Eat. I 
I want you to eat. You must be strong. For the ta is coming. How big does Earth? 260 for the high wall. Come on. One of you need to eat eventually. Keep one carrot so that I can plant guard. Well, I guess actually I don't really need to worry about that because I'll just go out and grab some more carrots. It's the more rare materials that you want to be careful with. Do I just chuck out all of the pink ones? Well, I'm not sure if I'll need pink, um, ports for any upgrades yet. Yes. Yes! The great bunny lord comes. Because if it eats, it should give me one of each, right? Yes. So we'll just leave some food in there. Naturally, yeah. Uh, cotton slimes also seem very common. We can chuck them into the ocean too. Oh. Yeah, those four pink slimes should be fine. As long as I'm quick, I shouldn't have to worry about things too much. Okay, I want plorps and veggies, I guess. I guess really, yeah, what I want is forms. So I don't really need um, anything else per se. Oh, it's a glowy boy. For slimes about to all die. Sayonara! Oh, what are you? Research drone. Access gg.log. Well, here we are again. I'm sending the drones out to all the original scouting locations. Once I confirm the conditions are the same, I'll get to work. This place, I still remember being in awe of these rainbow fields. It felt like being in a beautiful dream. I guess in a way it was, because it ended much too soon. F. some ports down here. So I wonder if there's fall damage. So far, it, there doesn't seem to be. Wait, this is... pathway that I first came through, right? Ooh. 
Oh, uh, shoot. I didn't have any food on me, and of course, a golden slime appeared. Sinatas. Okay. Did I leave any ports this time? Yes. Mm -mm. I guess I could grab a um some type of veggies if I happen to come across this. Okay, yeah, it doesn't seem like there's any fall damage. At least not much of any if there is. Let's grab some fruit just in case we happen to see another golden one. A little bit of area over there that's a cave. That's actually a kind of nice way to do the map. Now that's so you just kind of go around and explore. Binary links. Such a good nice. So you can just kind of collect things out and about and just turn them in from afar. I was so in over my head when I first started here. I remember hauling Jellystone back to the conservatory by hand because I was so excited, breathless, and sweating. I was going to think about everything all wrong. I was happy. There's a little time now, so I'll need these refinery links if I'm going to be efficient. This time I'm going to do it right. Yeah, actually, that's a very nice quality of life feature. So, like, if you're on a material run, you can probably actually find one or two of those in each major region. And just send stuff back instead of having to walk back every time you fill up. sense for me to stick some pink plorts in? Probably. Am I going to do it, though? Nah. Some more map data right there. Some more carrots. Can I access the map data from over here? Yes, I can. Oh, stony hens, um... Okay, got some more sp stuff. Wild Colossal appears. You know what? Become large. There's another pot. Okay, so wait. Okay, yeah. You can definitely tell that this game is in pretty early access because we're supposedly about a third done with the map so far. 
Like, there's definitely going to be a whole lot more to this. Knowing what I know about the first game. And actually, those things do show up on the map, so I can just run over here and deposit a bunch of pink. I figure putting in the 10 should be fine because... Oh good, more stony heads. Because... That should mean that there's still enough extra. You know what, let's take this pot back. There's not like a... Nope. No teleport system. This early on, at least. The Great Bunny Horde. Let's see, conservatory's right over there. I figure there has to be a button for so wait, there is gadgets we can place down, out in the world apparently as well. So maybe there is actually like a full turret. Okay, we'll drop this right there for now. Well, yeah, let's sell the plorts. Ones are of low value right now. Oh. Oh, goal! Okay. So if we sleep until the next morning, does that refresh the prices? Yes. Abby is still up. Cotton was down, but oh well. Uh, we want a actual garden thing. And a coop would also probably be a good idea instead of just using, um, pre-existing cage. Okay, let's see what's in here. Carrot. Perfect. Another tabby slime. Yeet the pink slime. Okay, um... So, nutrient soil makes crop year always yield the maximum harvest, making them grow twice as fast, keep wandering slimes away, and remove existing crop. Okay. Sorry, hen hens, but be gone with the. Okay, and then we grab both. Lords. And we take the cotton one and feed it to that one. Oh, so yeah, food will just spoil if you leave it in the cage too long. That's good to know. You know what, I do have some extra stony hands. Murder, violence, eat. For 
Just that I guess technically I should keep one of the roostros separate so that I can um, definitely have one extra for breeding purposes. Oh, hi there. If one of them escapes, they might go after that, so that'll work. The fabricator. Okay, so. A resource harvester, I need four, no, 305 more new bucks. Guess what else do I need? Energy boost would be nice, I guess, but not needed. And health boost. Okay, so yeah, health boost is pink ports. So refiner. Is the refiner just as a material storage thing? Yeah. Any resource deposited into a refiner cannot be taken out. Okay. Storage, okay. So 250 for that. Uh it's really the most obvious thing would be head back out into the world and go lore hunting again. Should be able to make the jump over on the right side. Now that I know where there is some sunny hens, I should be able to get more if I do die. Okay, yeah, I can definitely make this jump. That's a cave that I can't reach. Seven. Hydro turret. Defensive cannon that will automatically target tar and blast them with water. Alright. So I probably need to craft some before I can actually put any down. Which is fair. Click some lords, and you know what? Let's grab some carrots as well. I do like the look of the slime sea though, because it looks pretty without being too graphic heavy, you know? I heard some plorts. Do I deposit some of these? It might make sense to deposit some. The cotton ports off into the distance. But yeah, since the cotton ports are worth more, kind of want to focus on collecting those. So even if they're down in value right now, doesn't mean they won't be that way forever. Yeah, since right now the easiest way for us to actually get money is to just kind of go and collect a thon. Okay, so I want the, the coop. High walls, spring grass, vitamizer, and elder collector. Oh! That's nice that there is just automatic way to do that now. Hmm. 
You know what? All of these pink slimes can go bye-bye for right now. We don't need them potentially making a tar monster out of one of the Largos. That's just something we do not want or nor need. Elder Hen. Any others? Nope. Well, you know what they say about the Elder Hens. They work great for... Meat. Take the meat! Take the meat! So high walls are 60 still. Um, okay. Ooh, hey look. We got signal. Victor Humphreys? Hello? Hello? Beatrix, do you read me? Testing, testing? Hmm... Perhaps you are lost at sea, taken away by that mysterious boat never to be seen. Oops, oop, nope. Just forgot to turn on the display. Nice to see your face again, Beatrix. I have missed you greatly, my dear friend. And for all, I am quite excited you partake in a new adventure. I already have data that might complicate things. Last night, I received a message from a sort of artificial intelligence program. Written in code, but not one I recognize. I'm in the process of analyzing it. But I'm sure certain this message was sent from where you are now, the mysterious Rainbow Island. So to recap, a mysterious boat takes you to a mysterious island, and I receive a mysterious code from said mysterious island. It all seems quite... curious. Well, got work to do. You best get to exploring. Oh, I almost forgot. Take this home portal. It should make the early stage of your journey easier. Yellow home portal. Alright. Take care, Beatrix. We'll be in touch. So, yellow home portal? What? Is that a recipe? If I go into the refinery, or crafting area, I guess, is it inside here? Utilities, pearl ports, deep brine, and bloom ports. Yellow portal, jellystone, and deep brine. Okay. Actually, wait. I need 450 for that. Okay, never mind. It's like, wait, can I just... But no. Oh. Actually, that makes things a whole lot easier then, because what you do is you set up a portal out in the wild, going to whichever place you want, you'll most want to go after picking up stuff. Walk through, and then you're back home. And then hopefully there's one that goes the opposite direction then, maybe? Fingers crossed. Carrots. Eat the pink slimes. So we will always want to have some carrots on us when we go out into the wild. Well, carrots or other. Wild Aerodactyl appears. Almost hit Waluigi Cannon instead of a um, Poke Catch command. Or Waluigi launcher. Not cannon. Okay, I mean, there's definitely something up there once I get jet jetpack. But what I'm thinking is we'll probably want to put a. Um... Okay then. We'll probably want to put a. Actually, bye bye phosphor slime. Since you'd die if I put you down anywhere, anyhow. Um, 
but we'll probably want to put a... Is there another port to drop? I guess not. They're balancing! Um, but we'll probably want to put a teleporter like somewhere in this relative area. Just wait. Aw, oh, Aerodactyl escape. No, I won't be on. The other side of this to access that desert area. Oh, I can't wait until I get jetpack. See it, that's dead end. Uh... So we're back over there. So I'm trying to explore correctly so I don't leave massive areas that I should have explored earlier untouched. Oh, I can't reach it. I need jetpack. There is a lot of ports. Actually, you know what? Just don't need Oh, bye-bye. All this fresh ports. Hello, hello. Let's see, I already have stony hens growing semi efficiently. So, what I kind of want is whatever bit of veggie it is that allows the bunnies. Ooh, water lettuce? Oh, wait. Is that the thing? Yes, that is the thing. Okay. Because we can get double output of it slightly easier than if we grow both of those. Um, okay, so I assume this cave is to the desert area. Yeah. Is there anything of interest over here? That looks like a map over there. So I need to investigate over there. Of course, that is true. There's that large phosphor slime. Um. I mean, that's not suspiciously, um empty area that would serve great with a bridge. Ooh! That's a interesting glowing rock over there. Wait, some more sunny hens. Um... And yeah, this is where the tabby slimes appear. Because we should have enough, we should be able to have enough money right now when we get back. That we should be able to afford a, um, or the material collection upgrade. Which will help and also tell us whether or not the materials respawn. Yeah, this seems like another great place to have a bridge that is specifically missing one. I wonder if this will open up. Because this looks like something artificial held by the gold-plated caps. Ooh, there's an orb up there. But I don't... Well, I might be able to get to, up to it. Eh, may, probably not. Well. Pink Largo. Fill that boy up a little bit. Uh, are you only going to be able to get over there with jetpack? Kind of looks like it. 
appreciate how I haven't run into any invisible walls yet. So that's just a nice thing. Not having to worry about what? Oh, I guess you can't grab multiple port plorts at once. Or multiple of the same port type at once. Okay, yeah. There's a bit too many tar. Is there something up here? Doesn't really look like it. It's hoping for some more bunny plorts or something. Naturally. Since I know these phosphor slimes like fruit, let's just go ahead and drop that off. Let's see. Yes, back to the observatory. Okay. So we'll want another farm. I'll actually sell three of these and keep the rest. Because I need ten for the boot up or the drill upgrade, right? Yeah. And I need ten for the energy upgrade and another ten for the portal, I wanna say? Yeah. Oh, uh, wait. Mm. I feel like we'll be able to make more profit off of. <laughs> Making a... Another garden and doubling the forts we get from these two. So close, okay. Do I make the high wall upgrade? My suggestion. Yeah? Yeah? Okay. So I haven't found another... I mean... Besides the phosphor slimes. But then I don't have fruit to feed them anyhow. You know what? Let's hunt down all the food I can and then go to the giant pink slime. So that seems like the most obvious direct way forward. Oh good. Tar slimes do just kind of die if you we enter an area. Of course, there's all sorts of these. We'll grab some water lettuce as well. Whose strows can go bye bye in exchange for more cotton ports? Where is it? This way. I'll grab Florts on the way back, I guess. <laughs> Birdo Slimes, Bon Pepsi. Oh. That's actually a good way of doing it. And then there was, yeah, this thing, which activates the bridge to go over there. Ah, okay. I appreciate that. It's not a bridge, it's a launch pad type thing. Honestly, I will take back 
uh, phosphorus. Uh, actually, I'm just gonna drop that, grab that, and then take back this. So actually, if the Largos don't despawn a morning. That might be the best way of covering them, because they typically re would require uh, fruit for the phosphorus slimes, but I can just give them the stone head. then maybe we don't have to worry about fruit for a while at least. Which could be the best of both worlds. Though I definitely need to make a um, anti-slime barrier for the coop. Okay. What's worth a lot right now? Phosphor quartz and those. Okay. I literally turned my back for like three seconds. Still need the ceiling, don't you? Yep. Probably. Okay. Here you go, since you're hungry. Okay. Oh, uh, we could probably actually just kind of free all of these chickens right now. Carrots are still growing. Okay. I know we wanted to make the grill upgrade, but... Now we have phosphor slimes. I guess maybe the um, bunny slimes I should replace with, or the bunny hat I should replace it with a bunny, um, maybe lava or boom. We'll see. Because since the bunnies want the water cabbage, and I already have the water cabbage, now I just need to figure out a good combo to combine it with for... The thing is, can those are just pick up ports and toss them into the um, refinery system to free up space. Um... Did I already activate this? Yes. So the Wudo escape. No. Um. I should be able to do something that no. I should be able to make some. Actually. You shall be my second one. I gotta get you back home quick. Because since the phosphorus and the cat ones are worth a lot right now, that's why I kind of want to um, make a couple. Don't vanish on me, please don't do it. Okay. Oh, 
definitely want to make that slightly harder for them to get into at some point, but it's fine. Then I can actually replace all of this food with the water cabbages. Or water lettuce, I mean. Give them some hens. Two hundred, let's put a wall. Yeah, walls are most important right now. As well, it still technically won't keep the slimes from getting in. It'll at least help a little bit. Is there another signal? No, just... Okay, yeah. So let's go off to the glowy mountain. Grab the plorts I find on the way, because why not? Actually, wait, is that? No. That fruit tree is not ready to harvest yet. So I should also try to pop the phosphorus slime at some point. I want to get over there, but I guess I have to go around. Maybe if I get- once I get a jetpack, I'll be able to make that jump. Maybe. Ooh, lucky slime. Oh wait, me. Um... Don't have any meat. Well, it's already gone. I'm pretty sure that slime literally just gives you direct money, but you can't capture it, and it vanishes like the gold slime. Oh. Didn't realize there would be a large, uh, gudo, grudo bunny slime as well. I mean, makes sense, but like, still wasn't expecting it. I also wasn't expecting it to be right there. You know what? Yeah, let's see if there's some hens that I can steal. Because in theory, the lava and fire slimes, I want to say, are still meat carnivores. In this game as well. I'm not sure if they've really adjusted anything about the... Or slimes that appeared in the original game. If I remember right, they were meat eaters. Just make some amount of, uh, um, tabby ports. Come on, tabby slimes. Eat to your heart's content. Yeah, this is how simple. Okay, um, don't necessarily want to go over to the unexplored area with a full inventory. So let's head back over here. Let's just chill in there patiently. And let's just 
Because I'm sure there'll be enough consumable stuff that's worth just kind of depositing the ports. Even without, um... Knowing exactly what they're useful for yet. But now we should also make sure that we have some food left in case we see another lucky or another golden. So that'd be very unfortunate if we did not for either of those. You eat the chicken. Not you, though. You. Okay, guess not. Grab some stony hens that are about this. I mean, normal hen hens that are about, I mean. Oh, it's teleport. Okay. Straight up teleport. Ember Valley. Well, I mean, there's definitely something over there, but we can't go there yet. Some normal pink slimes, some more fruit trees. We're probably going to burn a bit. Yeah, you should have food in case you see Lucky. The cat. Yeah. Ooh. Angler fish? Or, <clears throat> angler slimes? idea to grab these. Uh... Oh, and these are a bunch of hostile ones. Nope, that's not where I want to be. That's a trick. Sea hen. Looks like bald eagles. But I'd imagine that's what the angler ones really like. Actually, you know what? Let's just kind of come over here and just kind of yoink and yoink and yoink yoink and just kind of of these angler ports because it's just kind of free money right here. I need a jetpack to get over there. Woo. Might be able to make it over to that side. Gotta stay alive first though. So it looks like the angler fish or angler slimes will do a stunning attack or something? Okay, that's definitely some, like, meta-progress type area. Q-berries. Yeah, probably not the greatest idea to be trying to climb stuff without the jetpack. Aha! Or... Coral Columns Cosmetics 
or decoration stuff, I guess. Ooh, what's that? Odd onion. Well, not sure what I need that for yet, but I got one. What's this? I just need to harvest this. Oh, is this the brine water, maybe? And I'm back down to having zero meat, but might be fine. Or hopefully we'll be fine. I say as I like probably instantly find like a golden slime or something. Uh, hmm. Okay. So I guess maybe the uh, um Maybe this area, you do kind of need a jetpack to explore fully. Well, maybe not. There's another of the, like, low bug AIs. Okay, so this is also where there's the, um, cave slimes, or rock slimes. I know I'm on a mission here, but that hasn't changed anything about these geysers. They're still fun as heck. I think I can afford a few minutes to splash like the old days. So, tabby slimes. There's another jar over there, it looks like. Okay. Oh wait, no, that's the ones I just dropped. <laughs> um, so what I'm thinking is, I want to grab the rock lords because if I can make some, I guess angler fish largos maybe, because the ang okay. I guess I have to actually pick them up to discover what species they are. So if I drop these... No. You know what? I guess tabby ports go bye-bye. Be the most optimal bit since I already have Plenty of tabby ports. Look at this tar down there. Is there even any? Oh. Or pro gamer moves. Meat slime bait. Um, the special slime bait can be used to harmlessly attract meat eating slimes. Okay, yeah. Since the tars have taken over, we'll just kind of leave. But now that we know what's over here, we can come back better prepared. So I want to capture some angler fish, or angler slimes, and some rock slimes. And get their slimepedia entries filled out. But we should also have enough lords that we should be able to make a jetpack finally. Well, no. We won't be able to make a jetpack. But we should be able to actually get some decent money. We want to save one floor of both rock and um, angler fish. Angler slime. Because if we or to use them all, I'm, I feel like I would want one or two. And big fingers crossed on the fact that angler one will be worth a lot.
39 and 48. Oh. Dang. Okay. Let's see, any elder ends? No, not really. But yeah, now that we have the Largos, as long as we just are careful about what food we give them, we'll always be able to get double value out. Okay, also... Pork collector. Sure. No. I was like, wait, is that the mission console? But no, it would make sense that that one over there would be the mission console. Another stony hen and toss that over in there as well. Okay. So. Uh, let's just toss. Well, yeah, because that needs fruit and hens. We just fill this area with a bunch of food, it'll be fine as well. Okay, um... So I could make another coop so that I can move these guys out of the way. I do want to go and capture some... ...of the, um... ...angler ones, but actually, how about... ...silo? Or 50, okay. Really wish there was just a little bit more space to begin with. Or like a simple like 2x2 two two storage locker or something. Okay. So jetpack needs radiant ore and phosphor for it. So no matter what, we have to get the drill first before the jetpack. Okay. Do I make another crop field? Do I replace the carrots? Let's replace the carrots. Let's not drop cotton ports. Did it overwrite all of the ports? That seems odd. Oh well. So close. I mean, I guess I could. Oh no. I don't really want to do that though. Okay. Got some more of these plorts though. Of course, it becomes. Or it swaps right as I shoot some in. Okay. Um. Market's not kind to me right now. But let's make that drill upgrade. What does it do? No clue. Hey! Some of these are kind of expensive, honestly. Okay, um... So what we could do is we go and capture a couple angler and a couple rock slimes. Probably want to go during when it's 
There you go. Well, what do you know? Beatrix is about off on another adventure and then take, to take her good pal, sometimes rival and forever mentor, Mochi. Seriously, B, next time you go running off to so dangerous uncharted territory, could you at least give me a heads up? I'd like to be there for you in case you need me. To help collect all those valuable resources that seem to be scattered all over the island. What? You think I wasn't going to do a little recon of my own? What good are surveillance allies if they can't soup on stuff? Wink. Anyway, be careful out there. The island gives me a kind of weird vibe, so I'm gonna keep poking around. Oh, and since I know you're starting from scratch out there, take this refinery link. Should make things easier for you. I'll just put it in your tab. Later, Taylor. Oh, nice, so now we can place down our own refinery links elsewhere. Alright, alright. That's at... These little quality of life things is exactly what um, people wanted in the original one because I know at one point I'd install the mod for like some sort of being able to deliver stuff straight into the storage system or something like that and it was so nice. Since we need a bunch of cotton anyhow. First wait, I mm, we'll just deliver it into here. Okay. So I guess really what I need is phosphorus and abbey. I wanna say. Since I'm already this close to the portal, let's just not worry about it. Okay. So I want to head straight to the. Woohoo! That's some decent airtime. I want to head straight to the angler slime area before the tars get too far out of control. Grab you, and you, and you, and you, and of course there's both of both rock. Mmm. I. It was literally both a gold and a um. What you call it? At the same time. That uh, feels bad, man. Golden and lucky, that's what it was. Okay, but we got the rock slime and the angler slime. So that's fine. So I guess really the important thing was unlocking the Slimepedia entry for both of them. Because it doesn't really matter what their favorite food is. And I already know that the angler ones are fine during the day. Even though that kind of doesn't really make sense, I guess. Okay, so. Favorite is sea hens and favorite is heartbeats. Oh, okay. Not the odd, um, whatchamacallit. I guess I can exchange the odd onion for heartbeats next time I'm next time I have some. Okay. Yeah. 
skip, that's fine. So, yeah, well, actually, yeah, let's just let the angler slimes run free in here for a little bit. Okay. Let's take a couple of these and just kind of... Toss them out. At least they're too busy stunning each other mostly. Ooh. Okay. Oh, and of course it's the um, rock that stay up in value. Okay, high walls, yes. Because that's the most important thing if you're farming Largos. The roof is also kind of nice, but... Okay, so now I need some sea hens and... some heartbeats. Actually, while the wireless is not double value for them, it is alright at least. Actually, yeah, let's replace all of these with just a bunch of water lettuce. We'll put the carrots then in here. Yeah, this should be working pretty well. Okay. Ew. Grows both carrots and the odd onions. Okay. Well, once I figure out what actually likes all the onions, I guess maybe that might be the... No, I don't know. Need some meat for in there. Okay. Elder Rustro can go bye-bye. Was there a Ustro in that badge? I don't think so. How far can I turn these in from? No clue, because I have to actually hit it. Oh, duh. That's where most of my ports are currently. Yep. I will want to get some more... Actually, yeah, let's... Can't put stuff back in. Okay, I'm going to leave the plort, tabby plorts in there. Sell the con plorts. Because what I want to do is I want to grab some more bunnies to toss in there. Because then I also want to do the same to the phosphorus ones, but I need to get some tabbies to do that. So we'll just walk past all the pink crystal or pink plorts that are appearing. It, uh, let's say we'll go for ten. I think ten largos will probably be a bit much, but that's fine. Because honestly, if I can afford to get a roof, that would be my best option. Okay. And also with this many, um, just plain bunnies with that many, ooh, that is true. As long as I, as I force them to be Largos quick enough, they'll output double resources. 
if they eat a, um, whatchamacallit? Okay. Activate this. Okay, one more. Definitely need to get a roof thing though. Because this many is like the max. Quote unquote max, I guess. That you can really put into one of these. I'm sure you might be able to get more, but the air net, since it doesn't just work as a solid wall, it will go on cooldown if you or if it breaks. Need to be careful about it. Where's the that bunny one go? Oh wait, right here? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So we should have a nigh infinite supply of cotton and cabby plorts then. So with that many, we shouldn't have any issues. Tabby plorts, I guess. And since that's the one thing that has a auto plort sucker right now, I would just need to get an auto feeder. And honestly, I wonder if one of the gadgets will allow you to just kind of auto deposit from farm into it because that would be like perfect if that was an option but I'm not sure if it would or not first that's true we should be on the lookout for resources as well multiples? It does give multiples. Okay. So Jellystone. Both solid and squishy at the same time. And by the looks of it, it probably will restock itself overnight or whatever. Because the like, bit of the a bit of rock that the ore is sticking out of is still there. So it's not guaranteed, but I feel like it has a pretty good chance that it will restock itself. So I guess the key is, is there a way that I can, like, mark it? No. And it looks like it does actually tell you how many orbs there are in each of the fields, or each of the areas. Since the main thing we're doing right now is hunting down the, uh, Tabby slimes, so we can make the better, um, chimacallit, better phosphor slimes, which also need the Q-berries as root for double output, which would be easier to farm than the other ones, just due to the fact that you don't have to actually farm them. Okay, um, so there should be some, well, let's just kind of, tabby slimes are over, no, I thought some tabby slimes were over there, guess they must be over here then, well, there's some.
a hen hen on hand just in case. Actually grab the roostro since we don't necessarily need the hen hens. Yeah, 10 should be good. Still want to go back and grab some more angler and some of the angler specific hens. But honestly, actually, never mind. I might just go with the heartbeats for that. For those guys. Has the, um,. The fruit and veggies would be easier, or they don't have quite as much potential to go horrible, because even if a slime does get into them while I'm not there, it will just cause that harvest cycle to be pretty much empty. That's less of an issue than some other options. Okay, I'll just let them have fun in there for a little bit. Still need chickadoo. Eh, that many hens should be fine. Yeah, so now we've got Abby and Cotton Forts coming in pretty quick. Okay, so what do I need for the jetpack? We need like 500 gold or dash boots. We need phosphor ports and radiant ore. Okay. Um, I guess, honestly, what would make most sense is to get... Actually, that's what I should do. I should make a... Or I should grab the air net and then the port collector. And if I remember right, the market is mostly based on you so this should also help oh 666 um this should also help with running out of easy farm do i go, let's go with airnet Okay. Still need some more. Of course, wait, there's actually a cube berry right there. Aha! Planning ahead-ish. Kinda. Not really, but... I'll say it was on purpose. Yeah, but that's just a tree that grows, what, three? Five? Uh, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight, eight. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. The great horde of hungry faces. Because while the tabby pole arts are kind of bit going to have their price like zeroed out, it'll be fine. Once again, we've got enough different types we should be fine. Mostly.
I guess, do I replace the... Yeah, we should probably replace this with um, the heartbeats once we get some. Dang, 800. Um... Honestly, these ones are my cash crop right now. And I don't have to worry about anything specific really for them. So let's get the auto corpse suckers. Because I just gotta go during the day really to get their um, tiny counterparts. Because actually, do I want to replace the phosphorus slimes with something else? What do I currently have access to? Um, okay. Yeah, I guess not really anything right now. Maybe if we grab some... I'm not sure. So let's not worry about it right now. So we need phosphor and radiant ore. question is, do we need any... Actually, let's see. Can I make the... Can make the... Well, wait. Just to check. Honestly, 30 of whatever I wanted could be kind of nice. But... Yeah. Yeah, let's get the 30. So that's a bit more valuable for extra sprint time than some other upgrades right now. <clears throat> or for extra storage capacity than some other upgrades right now. There's a lot of roosters, which could cause an issue potentially. Let's see, these guys should be fine for a while then. Want to grab some rocks. Need this to grow faster so I can get some extra phosphorus ports out of there. Okay. But if we find another type of small slime, we need to grab it so that we can make a uh, phosphorus uh whatever that other type is. Slimes. Also, I'm kind of hoping that I find a, um... A lava slime or something at some point. First, wait. Before we leave... Because sleeping for that long also causes crops to grow. So, ooh, Wild Eevee appears. Do some slight harvesting. Okay. Just fill up these guys' spaces. any and everything that I can. Just gotta make sure to feed the slimes before we leave for the day. Once I get a couple more rock and angler slimes, then we'll start just grabbing the stuff to, um... Make or grabbing the stuff at four recipes. Okay, one goes back in. Oh, there's another. There's actually two left. 
Okay. Oh, EV escape. No one caught it. Yeah, that looks like pretty close to capacity. Let's increase the... Yeah, double crop yield. And we'll stick a couple of... Eh. Since they still output double. Yeah, we'll definitely want to, for too long, um, replace the slime phosphorus tabbies, or the phosphorus and tabby slimes with something else. But right now we're a bit limited on that potential. Okay, so wait. We need the radiant ore, phosphorus, a bunch of money. And for the teleporter, we need cotton and. What? Jellystone, deep brine, and new bucks. Okay. Because what I'm figuring is I want to set up some teleporters. On the far island for sure. Or on each of these two islands, once I get access to them, I want to set up a teleporter for sure. Because no matter what, being able to skip directly from there to home will be useful. Let's grab the pogo fruit. Because let's also pop the phosphor slime, I guess. Or fill it up, I guess. Where is it? There it is. Chris, wait, is this some deep brine? Yes, okay. So the earth kind of stuff. Is there any reason why I don't put it directly into the system? Probably not. Did another bit drop? No clue. It fruited. Aw. Okay. So honestly, actually, if we can just pick up an place down the gadgets repeatedly. Best thing I could do would be to uh, um just kind of drop the Okay, it's getting very close to exploding. So then I wonder if there's just a cave system under here. Is there like a uh, I guess there isn't a layer thing. So it might just be a cave system underneath it that this will open up. Which, I mean, would make sense. Since there doesn't seem to be any, like... Cave system looking things up on top. Figure if we grab the poker fruit it'll be fine. Okay. So we want to get going to the next area. Because since it's day, we shouldn't have to worry about the tar slimes appearing due to the fact there's no phosphor slimes. So we should be able to should be able to quote unquote um Okay, apparently there's still some tar slimes. 
I guess there's still the tar. Ooh, spooky. Okay, I want to get the sea hens and the heartbeats, I guess. And then if I can get the chance to, some rock slimes, I guess. One, one or the other. Oh. No. That looks like death. I was expecting there to be a pulse slime or something inside there. I guess not. Eh, none of those I want. Dark and spooky. Oh. Here's some of that sand stuff. Um. You know what? Bye bye fruit. I have no clue where it's going, but we'll find out. So this is the silky sand, yeah. All of the root rolls back down. God, I've got it out of the way temporarily. Oh. Well, shoot. Primordial oil. There's too much stuff, not enough space. Um, um I guess we don't actually have enough money for the pond yet, so back tank. Exactly what I was complaining about. <laughs> Too much stuff, not enough space, so here's a back tank. Okay. But yeah, I think we need a pond for the puddle slimes. Oh, I was hoping I'd be able to. Well, can I? Aha! Parkour! Seven. Some cube berries, but I already got cube berries growing. Can I? I should be able to parkour over there. Appreciate it. there is an invisible walls up here. Okay, Logo, that's rude. Uh, that's not where I want to be. Is there? There is. Because while I'm not 100% sure what all this stuff is used for just yet, I figure I'll find out eventually. So having it is a good idea. Can I take a pot with me to through the portal? Cause I kind of hope I can, but somehow doubt it. Since there's an actual loading wall. Oh, I can, which means I can kidnap Largos that way as well. Idea. The way I guess those hostile um which one call I guess those hostile um Largos are pink 
slime and the anglers, so not quite what I want. But, might be fine. Might be. And yeah, I saw that sand right as I walked through it. Or, I guess this is just water. Deep brine. Because since I'm so close to um, the actual drop-off point, I'm figuring I just go ahead and run back instead of filling up my inventory slots again. Oh, do I go with the puddle slime? Because actually, let's see. I already have the angler slimes and the rock slimes. So if I grab some puddle slimes, that should be fine, right? So now that I actually know where the puddle slimes are. Nice. Actual very good amount of profit from that lucky slime. So now it's night, so phosphorus slimes are going to be causing issues. And there are some rock slimes that spawn in up here. Earthquake? Yeah? Hi, Lucky. Oh yeah, hey, Lucky. You've got a treat from SU. I guess, Sebastian, since you're over here as well, you'll both get one. Hey, Lucky. Lucky. Sebastian. Okay. So now that that's done, I'd be able to... Whoop, made it. Okay, so let's hope for a couple more rock. Oh, well, there's the map thing. So look at all those plorts. This is definitely where I'd want to put a um, mandibuzz, a um, mobile selling thing, I guess. That reveals that area. Ooh. Okay, so there's a cave over on that side. Alright, now I'm just looking for rock slimes. Oh, and that would be the lava area. Okay. Ooh. Okay. And I guess also a cave area? Kind of hoping I encounter one of those deposit things. There's bat crystals? Oh boy. Harvestables? I definitely need to get another, um, storage slot though before I come back over here again. I feel at home here. When I traveled across the glass desert, it was caves just like this one that gave me shelter and allowed me to survive my trek. Just feeling walls around me and solid ground beneath my feet gave me all the security I needed to close my eyes and make it through the night. But I can do without some of it. Like if I ever sp even smell a roasted cactus skin, I'm pretty sure I'd barf. 
Apparently both escaped, no one caught it. Okay. So that's at least three different slime types and two other resources, so I should come back here with an empty inventory. But by entering that area, it might have triggered my the next um, quote unquote dialogue bit at the home base. Slimes, please. Oh, Rockies! Rockies, come out and play! No, that's not where they are. Um, which I like how somehow I've lost track of where the hostile- there it is. <laughs> it is bad to say, the hostile area. Because then there's some Rockies up up here or is this just the slime the pond slime area this is just the pond slime area to replace the... once I get back, we'll want to replace the... Odd Onion Farm with a Heartbeat Farm. It might still give Odd Onions, right? I feel like. And we've got some of the resource... Where did I actually get this ore from? Is it from... I'm not sure. I mean, it must have been over here somewhere. I guess it would have been that alternate path. The way to the right instead of the way to the left. Okay, but I should be able to grab a rustro and should be able to make sea hens now. Which I guess if I'm using heartbeats isn't really needed, thinking about it. But... fine. Is there anything I want to grab on the way back? I guess let's go on a harvest run. Get this area a little bit. Need to hurry so that tars don't appear. But actually, thinking about it, if I grab these water lettuces, lettuce size, lettuce, it's, I don't know, um, and then go up to the bunny largo or Greedo. I think it needs like. 30 or 40 of whatever type it eats, but then the water ones should be double value or something like that. So I encountered the bat, the crystal, and the lava slimes, which means that I should have access to 
four slime types, so I can get rid of these phosphorus ones I currently kind of overfilled on, I guess. There. Then just shoot some of these in there. Actually, what we'll do is we'll grab a couple of these. We'll want to put a roof on this pretty soon. By pretty soon, I mean probably like right now. We'll probably want to also at some point stock up on some more of the um, rock and angler slimes, but for right now it's fine. So actually, water plorts are worth a lot. Crystal plorts are worth a lot. Um, guess maybe. I'm not sure. Air net in, yes. Okay. Actually, since there is a air entire area dedicated to it being dark instead of having to spend the upgrade points on it, or upgrade value on it, I need another thousand points though. Yeah, I guess I don't really need the sea hens. Technically, since I have the, um... Heartbeats. up. So in theory, all of those should have been double value. Or, not really double value, but double value foods. So we should actually have a pretty close to what we need amount-wise of new bucks. And by pretty close, I mean apparently more than plenty. Let's put some of these directly into the thing. Um... Yeah, let's also put some of these phosphor ports directly into the refinery as well. The rock ports in as well. Definitely want a refinery access point on the surface in this area a little bit, but not a absolutely giant. Priority. Okay, so for the jetpack, I just need seven more radiant ore for the extra back. Oh, what? 
thought it... Eh? But so I need some more jelly stone for the refinery link and yellow home portal. Oh, extra tank needs rock floors. Okay. Shoot, and I've been selling. And I was selling a bunch of those. And that's all I needed, of course. Okay. Um. Because you're gonna be greedy buggers. So, if I. Next harvest cycle of these, I want to get rid of all the tabby ports, which is easily done. But since I already have the tabby bunnies, I don't need the tabby phosphorus ones. What I'm thinking instead is we'll get, um... I didn't pick up any of those slimes that I... Nope. Okay, what I'm figuring instead is we'll replace the tabby... Phosphorus ones with a um, yeah, that hopefully they'll despawn or something. Fingers crossed, but we'll place these ones with a phosphorus something else. I guess I should go and get the something else from the next area. Yeah, that's too close to home. That tar was further away from home, maybe. I would have left it run rampant, but... If it had made it through the doorway, it would have terrorized everything and probably eaten everything. First, that's true. I need to be on the lookout for... So wasn't there some... I should also be on the lookout for some veggies to make the one pop. Wasn't there a harvestable spot not too far away for the pink slime orbits? I mean, there's some brine water down there. Which actually, we haven't gone down to the dock yet. Guess there's nothing to see down here. So I guess there's good reason why we haven't gone down there yet. Wild Salamance appears. Oh wait, I should have grabbed all those carrots and stuff that I'd left at the farm. Eh well. on the lookout for any harvestables that are actually worth um, grabbing. And those are, I guess I can grab plorts since I can deposit the plorts on the way by the, um, whatchamacallit? The one thing. Actually, let's also grab some hen hens. Okay. Because if we happen to encounter 
a lucky or the other one. We definitely want to be able to actually use it. Actually, this just seems like most of the harvestable, harvestable resources are just slightly off the ground, like that one over there. Might make it a little harder to get to. Can I make... Yes, I can. So I guess we need to be sure that the bits don't just fly off into the water. Or slime. Ocean. That would be very disappointing. We found some and then it just... Nope. It's gone. Is there anything of interest up here? Since I'm already up here. Um... Doesn't really seem like it. Oh no, attack of the killer bunnies. Run away! Let's see, where am I going? Right. Okay. So, we want to pick up new slimes. And resources. Oh, it gets replaced by different um, things of similar element, maybe? Ooh, in which case I definitely want to go back up to the puddle slime area. Which, honestly, actually, that I need to go up there anyhow, just because puddle slimes are apparently worth a lot, Thorpe-wise. Seems odd, because I'm pretty sure those are one of the ones that's literally just put in a pond and then forget about. Because I want to say that's actually one of the, in the first game, one of the, like, quote-unquote, uh, recommended starting ones, just because it's place, and then just kind of ignore. Actually, nah, we don't need phosphor slimes. And the jars definitely do respawn. Okay, we want to go up into the caves. So I'm figuring we'll want a couple of each so that we can make couple Largo crossbreeds. Okay, crystal, lava, lava. Crystal, 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 lava, lava, crystal, crystal, or lava, lava. I was kind of hoping I'd be able to get a bat too, but, oh, is that a bat? Yes. Okay. Should have a decent amount to start out with. Okay. So, Slimepedia. Uh, Bat wants whoever that is, which is a veggie, I think. Looks like a different type of hen. And odd. Oh, perfect. Okay. Does this hurt? Yes, it does. 
Okay, good to know. Lava is not insta-kill. Actually, if the bats take them... Nope. So fire slimes are also down here. So, fire slimes. Do I just need to make like a fire pool? Diet is that. Like a little campfire, except it moves and it's a slime. Okay. I don't know. Ooh. Guess. Maybe we can do like a value cross vision and see which ones are be the best for um, Strange Diamond. I want it, but also like, you know? So I was kind of hoping I'd be able to find some of the bat food down here. But I'm not seeing it. Because wait, so... That looks like that's a berry of some type. That's a hen, and that's odd, odd onion. So odd onion we can definitely do. Guess maybe we could do a lava... Um, crystal one combo. Though actually, I think the bats are more valuable. Or the bat plorps are more valuable, just in general. And then that would also help since there's only a couple of each of those. They could combine the lava with, um, I guess maybe phosphorus. And I've got a bunch of both of those, and that would make the lava easy to handle. Or the lava plorts easy because the phosphorus ones are just want like, like cube berries. Yeah, now I'm thinking ahead. Now we just need to get back. Because I'm not sure if I lose my inventory or not if I die. I don't really want to find out with this valuable of cargo. I wonder what would happen if I fed a fire slime a water plort. Like, would that make it a obsidian slime? Or something else? Or would it just, like, instantly make a tar? I do not know. Okay. So, a couple of them in apparently okay do I have I do not have another harvest cycle already done okay um so this is the way to the cave or the den I guess We'll probably get another lore message at the computer. So, I wonder what... Why there's these sort of spaces. I guess you can set teleporters here. I guess that's why. Yeah, that would make sense. This seems kind of convoluted of a journey area. Oh, 
Okay. We'll see. Let's see. So, if I set up a crawl. Okay, how do we want to do it? So, phosphor and boom slime, I guess. Since neither of them are real high a priority ones, we'll need to move the phosphor plant thing in here. But that should also make it so that I don't have to worry about the, um... Storage of... Oh, wait. I shouldn't have to worry about the sto actual storage of... Um... I don't know. Or the actual nightlight mode. Just gonna purge a couple. So we're at how many phosphor six? Okay. Not want to put any of these also in the same cage as the lo boom slimes because the tar happens to show up, or if what one of the boom slimes happen, if a boom largo gets one of the other, the third type of poor, then that's it. That's game over, man. It's game over, man. Game over. Okay. Suck up all these. So we'll put crystal and that. Yeah, I guess that. In there. I need some odd onions for that. Stock up those guys. Okay. I'm gonna take the tabby ports. Sell those off. And then make a another garden. Well, it would have made more sense to put the odd thing here and that. I don't know. Okay, um. So wait, it's the. Those guys that like that. That'll give double of these. Just didn't allow us for that. Okay. And then what we do is we grab. These. Go down to the den. Definitely need to upgrade my um, sprint capacity. Yeah, this is why here was going on. Make a couple of those. Yeah, this is definitely where uh, you want to be careful on how many Largos you put in a small area. So they like exploding. 
you are careful, you will die. Okay. Run back up. Well. Put five phosphor plorts back. Okay, so I could save ten of the boom plorts, get the dash boots. Which would help me sprint for longer. Yeah. That seems 100% worth it, actually. As I'm starting to say, I'm like, wait a minute. Much better. No, almost run all the way upstairs without having to stop for a breather. Or I can run all the way upstairs without having to stop it, just, you know. Beatrix, I've done it! I believe I cracked my super mysterious code that was sent to me. It was astoundingly complex. I believe that the AI that created this code displays a comparable intelligent intellect to my own, so very advanced, almost alien. Oh, you're probably wondering what it said. Well, I determined this mysterious, perhaps even alien AI sent me a message that says, Hello. Not much, but pleasantries count for something. More importantly, though, the moment I cracked it, I received another message. It's almost as though this mysterious AI is monitoring me. How exciting! I haven't decrypted it yet, but the code is considerably more complex. This should be more fun. Well, back to work as ever. Ooh, what should Odgen's Orts voice be? Hola, Beatrix. Are you there? It's me, Orden Orts. Here you're off on a big new adventure on a mysterious island filled with secrets and danger. Perhaps maybe a few succulent fruits or veggies the world has never seen before? You know, I had to ask. Ever since you got me a steady supply of Kukadoba fruits, I've been reaching for even greater culinary heights within the far, far range. Plus, I'm getting pretty tired of eating Kukadoba pies, Kukadoba duffel, Kukadoba pudding, Kukadoba konakarn, Kukadoba kada kada. I'm running out of ideas, and willpower. So if you see something new, please tell me about it. All about it. Tasty treats aside, I want to know all the new flora and fauna flavors. Never forget, every bit of this wild world is precious, worth our care and respect. Stay hydrated out there. All that adventuring will work up sweat, so take this water tap. Horrible water tap, woohoo! Good luck, Beatrix. Keep me posted. I'm rooting for you. Okay. So I guess the other thing is, what do fire slimes actually need? Maybe I can do, like, a fire pond or something. Of course, that is true. While they don't require odd veggies, this will also work. These guys are still my current money makers. I can get a little more bat gene in them, then that's even better. As the game tries to decrease the value of whatever it is I'm making. Okay. So I guess I have to go to the boom area. See if I can make a lava lake. Can I make a lava pond? Because, I mean, I don't really want to spend the money to make a pond if it ends up needing um, something else. Let's put a high wall. And I can't afford a roof yet. This should help keep them contained. It won't guarantee it, but should at least make it slightly harder for them to constantly escape. Of 
course, that is true. I should put down a garden. Because I'll also want to grab some root to put in there. Oh wait, I don't have any more fruit in there. One crystal, okay. Honestly, it would probably may have made more sense to put the crystal and the rock floor together, but... Eh. Actually, I do want to keep some rock crystal. Rock quartz, because you need that for... Which bit? I forget. You know what? Let's just deposit all of these ones. I think it can't be too bad of an idea. Okay. So, radiant ore. Oh, now I need 1,500 new bucks. Which I appreciate the fact that it does look like there will be plenty of different things to craft. So I don't have to worry about running out of things, but like, I'm not sure. I'm actually going to sleep until morning. Did that speed up all the crop growth? Nah, it still just counts as only being that 30 minutes I slept for. No instant crop growing just because you went to bed at uh, 5.59. Sadly. Sardu Valley who. Okay, let's harvest some of these stony hens. Of course, yeah, it might make sense to make a elder hen um, remover. Never mind, that's a bit expensive. Okay, have fun with all that meat. Just to check, these guys don't care about me, right? Let's see. One extra bat. Oh. Two bat. Cause actually, I guess thinking about that, they might all oh, the um herbivores technically. that issue of do I keep things separated by like area or do I just kind of see where or just kind of do stuff and see where things end up so I do know that I don't want to make a pure monoculture farm because that's how you end up not making any money but also like you know? Maybe I do. Okay, so. And there's nothing that would be a telltale sign of lava. Nope. No natural lava pools. So I guess maybe the... I 
Figaro it did not. I guess maybe the, uh, um... I that would make most sense is to... I mean, yeah. Well, you'll just... Take the... Almost 2,000 we have and... Go down and visit the, uh, um... Then, let's see if we can make a lava pool. Or a lava pond, I guess. But, so I don't forget any harvestables now. Probably should make all of these be at double rate. Oh, they're trying to break out. If you stay in, you'll get extra food. Yeah, I know they don't actually understand me at all. But I can hope. I'm going to make it like short range teleporter just to skip through this area. Okay. So we want to put one thing there. Well, that with a bunch of Q berries. Uh, net, yes. And floor collector, sure. Okay. Let's see if I can. Well, wait, no. Let's see if I can make this into a, like, lava pond. Oh, nope. Well, seems like fire slimes can just kind of exist in water pools. Oh, diet is ash. God, hate how that costs money both ways. Just stay in front of back in. In theory, there should be only... Just shoot an extra one in. Yeah. In theory, there should only be the Boom Slimes and the Phosphor Slime Largos in there. In theory. Unless maybe you need the insert. Sinner? Ah, burn anything it touches into ash. So I need to use the incinerator. I guess maybe is there a um, wall around the incinerator so the, the, lo the fire slimes don't leave? It wouldn't be as bad if it also kind of has a wall around it so that they can't leave. But honestly, this back corner working as an incinerator isn't the worst idea ever, honestly. Astroph, aha! Oh, wait. Oh, they just kind of produce. Okay. Now, these guys, I now want to go and stack up on, like, a whole bunch of them. And there isn't a upgrade to make it to auto. I mean, there might be a, um, gadget that will would allow me to do that. Making them grow twice as fast, yeah. Uh, do they grow at a, um, visible speed now? Nah, doesn't seem like it.
per se, I guess this kind of works. Instead of worrying about what um, type of chicken I put into a thing, I can just fill it up with all of them. I'm sure there's absolutely nothing that could go wrong with that. Okay, so I've got... I need Radiant Ore and new bucks. Okay, um... I think the crap there. Guess let's collect all of these. Because we need to go on another selling run since, um... We're out of money. Oh wait, both of those are low value. Um... So, cotton is up and lava is up. Or crystal is up. Or, no, lava was up for sure. So that we definitely want to make, um, or buy the upgrades for these fields so that max output per harvest cycle. Are they all crystal bats now? Yes, looks like it. Okay, so bat is up and bunny's up. Okay. The market just changed is in three, two, one. Yep. Well, let's hold off on it a little bit then. Bat is way up and bunny is way up. Okay. Easy answers, easy answers. And then crystal is way down and... Honestly, nothing else is really up at all. But these ones are still worth money, so still in the general worth area. I can replace that with something else. Maybe I'll put a pond there. Let's make fertile soil. And the fertile soil is already purchased, okay. Honestly, this will be the first one I put calming music on because it could be a bit rough otherwise. Um, double plant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that'll pay for itself pretty quick. Okay, so jetpack needs more money and the specific ore. Let's sleep until day. And then I want to go on a resource, or a material run. Actually, wait. Did the Slimepedia tell me where resources? Okay. Uh... Okay. It does not actually tell me where I can get them. This is kind of hoping. One that I would remember where they actually were. 
Guess I'm not used to doing that in this game yet. Oh, that's true. Veggies. Veggies. Looking for extra veggies. Ooh, I'm so close to the required uh, jelly stone I need for whatever it was. <sighs> okay. Since it's shaking, it must be like super close. I'm not sure how close. Okay, let's take a short detour over here just in case. Actually, I guess the bunny slime might open up this one. Thinking about it. Then there's still the phosphor slime that I need to explode the O as well. That looks like an arctic area almost. Q-berries. So if I can... I want to try to get, um... At least one of these other paths opened up. Okay, and so I think these material things might actually be based on region like this area this region seems to exclusively have these jelly stones and some brine water in some certain spots which also is not it's not always spawn the same place Maybe these little rocks determine, or kind of denote where things can spawn in. Oh, there's some brine water. Actually, if I remember right, the brine water is what's needed for the teleporter, so eating more of that and the jelly stones is a good idea. I mean,. Once again, collecting every resource is a good idea, just so that we have it when we eventually need it. And just hope that we do eventually need it and it's not a bait. Okay. Grab some veg. Got the fruit. It was one away. Okay. Sinar. Oh boy. What? Uh, nah. Yep, that opens up that. Okay. I wonder if you got the jetpack. Should we be able to make it in there without first thing that time? There's another earthquake. Not sure how well the stream actually picked up the uh, said stop moving, so that it would be kind of obvious that it was just a earthquake happening and not me moving the mouse. load yeah so I 
wonder what I'm gonna find down here. Crystal. And some... A water source, I guess. Okay. I need a... Oh, wait. I need a tabby plort? Maybe. Yeah. Well, I might be able to just go over and yoink a tabby floor real quick. My resource run is actually netting a decent amount of resources this time. So I'm not getting distracted by other things. Okay. Tabbies should be over here. Because I think how you figure out what type of crystal you give it, it's based on what type of statue it is. Okay. Running, running, whoop. <laughs> Let me swing straight off. And I do need to be on the lookout for more caves. Power chip. Use that fabricator to upgrade the Vax power core. Interesting. I assume so I can suck from further away or suck stronger or something. Pick a nasty style. Uh, where is it? It's over here, right? No. It's over... Shoot, where is it? Here? No. Here. No. What? There it is. Aha! Ba 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 Hot. Tank liner. Just upgrade. Use that fabricator to upgrade the back tank's guard. Not sure what the back tank's guard it means, unless maybe higher defense or something? So take less damage from things. Let's just go straight to the refinery and put this stuff in. Never mind, I thought there was a path to the refinery from here. I guess not. In theory, these are still up in value, right? Yeah. Because during this time when things are don't really have up in value unless I am actually trying to craft it actively. I guess I can just kind of, um, tank guard. Salvage so 20% of your tank's contents upon accidental with the slime sea or following other forms of health. Uh, ah, that would make sense. Okay. So it saves the resources if you were to die. Which also explains what the cause, the negative side of dying is. Okay, in order to place gadgets, you need to enable gadget mode. In this mode, you cannot back or shoot, but you can install, see all the sites where your gadgets can be installed. So, how exactly does... Teleport that allows for one-way travel back to conservatory. Alright. Well, since it's one-way travel... We just kind of don't worry about that right now. And so we get stuck with gadget mode on top or on the right there.
Yeah, there might have been a higher value um, combo I could have done, but so what was it the angler fish want or the angler slimes wanted? They wanted. Oh yeah. See, cause as long as it's like a meat eater and a veggie or fruit eater, I'm okay with it because veggies and fruits are much easier to grow than the meats that sometimes get just completely chomped down on by something that just happened to escape or wander in. Okay. So what was the upgrade that was 1,500? Extra tank slot, yes. Five tanks, woohoo! So I want to grab the puddle slimes and I want to toss down the teleporter inside. I guess I want to toss down this teleporter, like, somewhere in this relative area. So that I can easily get back from that far side. There's not any easy way to get over there just yet, but... All in due time. And there should be a decent enough location that I can place it that will kind of be like not completely in the middle of the three or two paths but like pretty darn close. Might have to go a little bit of a distance to access it but still shorter distance than running all the way back. We'll also grab some fire and some other of those slimes. Okay, you guys need to not exist. Is there loot in here? I feel like there might be. Well, there's a bunch of tar. Oh shoot, uh, meat, 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 uh, is there any meat? There is not any meat. Sorry. Oh, there's some more bat slimes. And a boom slime access port. Just inject those bats into the void, I guess. So I need to go back over here with some with a boom slime for for. Chris Matt, yes. Okay. So I just need five more prismatic ore. That's and no? okay, can't go high enough there. slimes. If I happen to see the um, veggie that the bats want, I also want to grab that. Is that a large? I think there is a large uh, either rock or crystal slime up there. The gadget mode thing not going away is getting annoying. I guess I just need to go and place the teleport already.
Okay, where is this? This is over here. Yeah, right. In this relative area should be good. Uh, hi. Ringtail slime. Yeah, let's place it right here. Okay. So, if I just... Nope. Go actually go through the teleport. Okay, got the five, so I just need two more. If my remembering is correct. Okay, so I just need some boom ports now. Also, the fact that now the gadget thing's not vanishing is also really stupid, but... Okay, got the boom port. So where was it? It was like at the, the entrance to the area, but like off to the right? Or something. Okay, wait. Can I just and that doesn't get rid of that tutorial. Okay. I mean, there's a blue check mark on it, or a green check mark. I'm not colorblind, so why won't you work? Where is? Did I come out into this? No, it was over here-ish. So it was over there, which I can't actually get up. Yeah, I can't get up there. Alright, got another three prismatic. So we should be able to make the jetpack now. No, it was up here and to the right. And then down. So I tossed the tar slime up. And then it fell in. Yeah, right here. Another ringtail slime. I would get rid of the pulse slime, but also, like, it would be not worth the ringtail ones, you know? There's, of course, more resources. Very carefully, try not to jump into the bad pits. Uh, oh, it needs two boom slime plorts. So of course it does. No, it probably would be quicker to go the other way. Ooh, almost killed me. Cause so I was like, oh, it'll be fine with just the one port. We don't need to grab two. Nope. I was wrong. Okay. Where's the way again? It's up here. And yes, yeah, so I guess the gadget mode is just stuck on this point. I'm not sure why it doesn't just vanish. 
Actually, wait, isn't there the Pearl Slime somewhere? So I should also go and collect some more Pearl Slimes, just cuz. Slimes want meat. Slime slavery. Yeah, more or less. How are you and smuggling? Yeah, more or less. How are you doing, Hawkwin? A good day, League. Nice, nice. When a 4v5 abused Buster Champions in a pre made. Nice. Love being able to do that. Also, hate when the other people do it to me. Good. Food is always a good thing. What you make though? Guess that would be the question. Okay, so wait. Go. There's another one. Shoot, I just made a tar. Where's the other one? Oh, hi there, Cave Slime. Or, not Cave Slime, but Slime Lord. Just minced meat with spices and beans. Yeah, that's very good. Generic sauce. So, pretty much bean hamburger. There is. And with the rice. Okay. So pretty balanced. Oh. Yeah, that opened the door. Woohoo! Well, Chin Chow. Here's. Anglers. Oh, wait. It's actually a fight. I released the tar in the hidden grotto. Okay, wait. Is it not possible for me to get up there without- oh, wait. No, it definitely is. Just need to not be bad at the game. Briar hen, since I haven't picked up that one yet. Azure glow shrimps. Oh, cool. Cosmetic stuff again. Whee! Whee! Okay. So, this guy's gonna want veggies. And of course, there isn't even any veggies up here. But, I can work with that. Now that I know that he's here, I can just bring like 60 ooh, carrots or something. Where's my teleporter? Oh wait, my teleporter is back. So what I want to do is I want to head... Where's the waterfall? Is the waterfall over here? Yeah, the waterfall's over here. 
remember watching the alpha development of the OG Slime Rancher. Kind of stopped for some reason. Eh. All I can say is that I've been kind of excited for this for a while. But I've mostly been avoiding taking too much looks at it. Or at the dev stuff, waiting to try and fix all the small bugs. Yeah. It was fun. Yeah. Um. Because I'm figuring I'll probably do just this one stream of it and then wait until the full launch. Just because while I know some content creators do like every single update they make a new video. I don't think I would be able to pay enough attention to the game after once it finally released if I did that. Okay, let's see. The oil. All that all. Okay. So we should... As long as we don't die. When we get back to home, we should be able to make the jetpack. And full freedom will be ours. Or as full as we really get. So wait, I thought I put the... Oh, I put the teleporter way over there for some reason. I mean, I guess, yeah, it's because it's closer to the actual lava area. But still not too far away from everything else. Guess let's first make the agile jetpack and then worry about the war slimes. Oh wait, I need more money. Okay, what's high value right now? Boom, fire, and yeah. This to feed the phosphorus slimes. Or phosphorus boom slimes. I guess it all kind of makes sense that the phosphorus and the boom slimes, I combine them like the. Because I think it's phosphorus that is combined with some other materials to make gunpowder. Fucking Q buried kids. A salt layer of corpse underneath them. Wait, did I just ashify one of my fire signs? How much ash? Did those just like create a certain amount of ash each or something? Like is every X resources worth X amount of ash? Is that how it works? Uh, I feel like it might be. Though I wonder. Oh, you can't. Okay, you can't do fire floor. So maybe it's at like a 2 to 1 ratio for every 
one resource put in. Can you... Yes, you can. Is there a limit? Have I reached it? Does it exist? I don't know. I kind of hope that, like, there's not really a limit on Ash just cause. It'd be funny. Okay. At least I have plenty of money at this point. Well, not really plenty of money, but plenty of easily farmable resources. So, I don't really have to worry about money much. Okay. Pond. Yes. Gadget mode tutorial just won't vanish for whatever reason. Why do they have fucking blushing animations? Like, what? What are you doing? Okay, Slimepedia. So, Ringtail. There, there's a crime, there's a Ringtail slime. Okay. Doesn't care about anything. It eats everything. And is worth 46. Dang. Okay. Um. Oh, Mochi, real quick. Hey, B. Those drones you've been finding all over the island. There's something weird about them. Hmm? Hey, I got eyes in the sky, and I'm using them. Must be readying a team of drones to head over there and check things out in a more hands-on fashion. But I digress. Anyway, that drone seems super advanced, like almost alien. And so I thought, okay, there's some aliens out there checking out Rainbow Island just like you, but no, I don't think so. So it looks like the drones were EUs, but so much more familiar to me. Almost like it's giving me deja vu. It's kind of creepy. Hey, don't be scared, they're probably just aliens. Giant three-headed aliens with huge claws that are looking for humans to capture or eat, or both. Brahaha. See you later, B. Okay. Let's harvest these. And by harvest, I mean pick them up off the ground before they die. And harvest all these. Same thing again. Activate that. Activate that. Heartbeats. So I guess that is true. Since that one Gordo is the giant rock. Gorgo. I should try to pop it. Okay, let's sleep real quick and see if the gadget thing vanishes. Okay, let's save and quit and then get back into the game again. Please vanish. Please vanish. Please vanish. Please vanish. Thank you. Game. Okay. Jetpack time. Bump our own personal jetpack. Woohoo! I do want some more energy. Need another strange diamond, some retail ports. Everything else I should be able to do. Uh, puddle plorps so I can store fresh water. Just kind of melt some things. Yeah, let's get the bonus energy capacity. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's gonna be nice. Okay. So, all of the resources that... Actually, wait, we should check and see what we need for one of those mobile, um... Refinery ports, um, costs and need. Ooh, pulse limes are actually high value right now. need to do. Slimepedia. Uh, on. What, what are you gonna do with this? Okay, um, I guess maybe the pulse slime thing will tell me more. Diet water. Keep one in your boot and you'll always stay cool, but it's weird. Do I need, like, the water back tank upgrade or something? Cause that seems weird. That's what it is. So, I should grab, um... I think that does seem great. Let's see what I need for the refinery. Easy done. Sure, bonus help. Okay. So now I should be able to just kind of... Just in case I can't get back up, let's place it right... Over here. Permanently installed until demolished. Okay. Do not appreciate the fact that apparently is a you place it down and it's there until you don't want it and you destroy it. But I mean, I guess that's fairish. It's not too expensive. Okay, but what I'm figuring is we'll want to stock up on some resources then. Because if we have a decent amount of every orc that we currently have access to inside the system, we should be free to just craft stuff as needed. Minus, of course, the bits that we have to sell. Speaking of selling, I'm figuring I'll just sell all these. That is true. Is it veggies that the. Yeah, I think it's just veggies that the rock slimes want. So I'll grab a couple veggies and go to the one place. Sell this. 
Um, okay. So I want ringtail and something else as valid, um, bits. Guess let's grab the fire and the boom forts. Essentially, the fact that the sulfur, the phosphorus ports can just be turned into fire ports for much is kind of nice. Actually, can I? I can do it with boom ports as well. I'll definitely want a um, access point over here at some point. Yeah, what I should have done was... Well, actually, this works. Okay. So we just drop that many on the ground, pick up these. Ringtails on the ground, and just chuck these in. And figure out where the ringtails went to hide. I really hope we get some, like, usable, um, two-way gates, though. So that will just be very useful. Let's see what the quest is. No. Thor West. Well, now, if it isn't Beatrix Lebeau. Bull, Hobby and I were just talking about you. Word is, you have to parts unknown of your rock with the thirst of new adventure. Ah, the girl. You just keep on walking until you see what wonders are around the next corner. Until your boots have faults. And then get yourself some new boots and do it some more. E, well, my boots have seen better days, but I know there's still an adventure or two left in them. I suppose I just need to figure out what... Aw, oh, heck, I'm rambling like old Hobbs and does. After he gets to talking about exploring, like the cosmos, the cooking, or pretty much any other topic. Alright B, you hang in there. I'll be calling to check on you. No matter who you are, we all start feeling it when home is beyond the horizon. Oh, and before I get forget, here's a little something for you to spruce up your new place. It ain't much, but you need to do what you can to make that place feel cozy. Taming Bell. Taming Bell? What? Can I tame slimes with it? Is that what it is? Yeah, let's just stick all of these ports in here. We'll calm the anger of any feral slime that hears it. Ah! So, if I put that next to one of the, like... whatchamacallit places, the Pharaoh Slime areas, then I can just kind of have them non-hostile. I mean, that's a good idea. It's a very valid utility. And since the Feral things are all in specific places, it wouldn't even be bad because you could do that. So wait. Emergency return. Nope. That just treats me as dying. I don't want to die. Just want to see if there was an easy way home. I hope that there is a, like, later upgrade that you can get that will just allow you to teleport home on, like, a cooldown or something.
Okay. We do want to be careful though of how we're exploring. So we only have three of the 14 pods that are in this area apparently. I think I've been to the other side of that one. Okay. So I guess at some point I should go over that way since I have opened it up. I want more veggies if I can get them. I mean, I guess there might be some more veggies over here. Fruit. More fruit, more fruit. I mean, I've got plenty of carrots now. But that will only get me about half of the way to... Ah. Okay, heartbeats. That is what I need. already been in here um of course I can definitely go over there now that should that should be pretty easy let's see is there anything of interest up here Some rock slimes. Some more heartbeats. I guess this is the easiest place to get rock slimes, really. It might be possible to get over here without a jetpack. See, but you gotta wonder. Why is there all the slime um, architecture and stuff? If there wasn't, if there isn't any other like humanoids. First time I was here, I turned this entire ruined complex into a beautiful garden. Never known the original purpose of this place, but I knew its creators might be happy knowing that far into the future, someone was making sure it still had a purpose. There's no time for that now. I'm going to at least plant some of my favorite flowers right here and hope that in time they'll flourish and cover these ruins once more. Maybe, if I even make it back home, I can see it myself. <laughs> they were just make they were just seeing how far they could reach off the edge. Um Is there a staircase back up? Or a tunnel or something? Yes, just over that way. Oh, okay. We've got plenty of capacity for it. You know, it's always kind of spooky because, like, sometimes it's fine. Sometimes it just ends up trying to kill you instantly as soon as you lift off. doesn't auto break when it touches the water. I want to say there in the first game there was a upgrade that would allow you to get more height out of the jetpack on the initial pressing of it.
but I'm not sure whether or not that's in this game as well. Of course, the other thing is, if I find the right locations, I might be able to just kind of Skyrim, but with a jetpack up the hill. Speaking of right locations, where I'm trying to go is just right over or back this way, isn't it? Just got distracted collecting heartbeats and some other stuff. And yeah, so the pots definitely respawn, so just go ahead and break all of them you find. Seems to be the best option. Let's get rid of the jelly stone. I should definitely um, try to get some more. Um, what should call it? That's gonna be enough. Please be enough. Please be enough. Please be enough. Yes. Enough by like two. I know there's some other oil down there, but I'll bother. This is a new area. So who knows what sort of resources there are. Fling crystal, I think I did. Eh, maybe not. So ring tail slime. Ooh, jetpack drive. That might be the upgrade that I was literally just talking about. So, I feel like this statue has a use. Or a hazard, I guess. Can I just go up and over? The question is, the statue has a use. Where should I put it? So that I don't forget about it. Maybe I'll get lucky and its actual use is to bring it up here. Place it on a pedestal or something. It doesn't seem like there's a way up from here though. This seems pretty certainly the end of the line. Okay. there fall damage? Let's find out. No, there is no fall damage. Or at least, if there is, I'm not sure how you'd get higher than this. Is 
plank it down right there for easy access later. sure if I've even seen anything that would make me think it was connected to something important. Like one of these, like some place where a statue would go, I mean. Gnarled Ashwood. And yeah, I definitely didn't need the jetpack to do that, but jetpack helped make sure that I didn't go into the water and die. Would like some more ringtail slimes though. Okay, this is definitely a path. Yep. Jetpack just allows you to do so much stuff that I'm sure the game isn't really supposed to allow, but also like they really didn't want it there to put some invisible walls in. Black might. Is that just the main? Ooh. Nothing here. Oh. There's a bat. There's another strange diamond. Bat likes veg. No, fruit, right? I don't know. Do I burn the ringtail? Yeah, bye bye ringtail. Since I'm here, I'm just gonna collect resources and not worry about the ringtails. When I try to worry about too many things is when I don't have enough inventory space for like any of them. Just kind of looking about, seeing if anything specific appears. Fire kitties. being on the lookout for more resources as well, just in case. Would that shoot me high enough? Maybe. Actually, that's probably how I'm supposed to get up over to that. Quote unquote correct way of doing it. Okay, so this is where the briar stuff is. Hmm. 
more fire signs. Just stay up in the air because it's easier to go down than it is to go up. Which I guess this might be the cave way down. Another robot. Never managed to conclude all if the prisma waves caused all this lava to erupt to the surface. But I believe it did. The rainbow glass and the iridescent rocks. How lovely to see an ecosystem seems to coexist with them to some degree. But this lava, this is the breaking. This is it sort of like this, like it always does. It creeps up a few degrees over the years and you hardly notice and then one day you realize you're cooking. Ugh, wish I had my dog right now to pet. Map. Of course, actually, it would be kind of interesting to see some speedrun strats through this. Because once you get the jetpack, you free up a lot of space, but what do you need to do to get the jetpack? Okay, so I feel like that area is, um going to be added later. I feel like that's kind of a weird structure for a, like, abandoned island type thing. Gold port. I'm still hearing the jingle of a gold slime somewhere. See, that's way down to the entranceway area again. See how high I can go. Cause like I don't know. That seems aw very oddly cubic in nature. Unless that's like a abandoned castle by whatever civilization was here before, but I still feel like that's a bit too large of bricks to even for that excuse to kind of work. Oh, I didn't grab this one. Oh, guess dash pad. As you briefly spent with zero energy cost. Ooh, so you can run through areas. That actually could be useful. There's another tabby or er, ringtail slime, but not worth it. It's not worth having to get rid of something I currently have. But I should definitely... Well, I think I'm actually going to stop pretty soon here. Uh, I definitely want to come back to this, but I think I'm going to give it a couple months, let the devs get further along, and then come back to it. I might get on and dabble a little bit by myself, but
is there a reason that I should keep it instead of selling it, actually? I'm going to keep one, just in case. Because I feel like if you end up needing it, that's going to suck when you have to find it specifically. But I do like this new crafting system. Um, I appreciate the fact that there is different like warp tech stuff, so you don't necessarily have to just have a lot of inventory slots. Beginning is still a bit slow. No, I just need wild honey. Consume 20% less energy. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to stop it here for today, guys. Uh, thank you all for watching. Let's see who is live. PFSK is doing construction simulator. Um, honestly, I'm not seeing anything, so I'm gonna be greedy and lazy and let you all figure out where you're going to go by yourselves. So, have a good night, and I'll probably be live tomorrow with more Dark Souls randomizer. So, thank you all for watching, and I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye!